good afternoon uh, mrs panwar uh, pleasure yes. to have you here uh, on this conversation In just a quick introduction uh, mrs panwar is the principal secretary department of industries government of uttarakhand uh, she started her working life with the government uh, prior to which uh, she is a public health professional she she studied in public health she has a deep interest in uh, livelihood creation and entrepreneurship and she's been the principal secretary now for the last 5 years in uttarakhand so thank you for uh, taking this opportunity to talk to us and uh, look forward to an engaging uh, conversation over the next uh, few minutes ma'am so maybe to start with yes i'd like you to uh, tell us a little bit about the msme sector in uttarakhand so uh, as you are aware uttarakhand came into existence uh, in the year 2000 um, uh, when we uh, were portioned off from the erstwhile state of uttar pradesh so it is one of the smaller states of the uh, country uh, and it has a population of a little more than a crore and msme uh, sector ha- now has a very strong presence in our state when when we were formed in 2000 at that point of time we had about 14000 msmes but uh, and there was very little investment in in, in the msme sector but today we are very proud uh that uh, uh, msme uh, contributes uh, majorly to the state's economy we have about 64000 msmes which provide employment to more than 3 lakh people and uh, with an investment of uh, more than uh, 14000 crores and they are present in, uh, in important sectors like pharma food a lot of them are also vendors to the auto sector which has a, a major presence in our state and they are also into packaging and apparel so uh, uh, broadly uh, this this had been the you know the presence of uh, msmes and the contribution to our state's uh, economy till now okay so it's quite uh, quite a remarkable increase from 14000 to 64000 yes you know yes. fairly short span of time yes yes, yes. okay okay ma'am now uh, obviously uh, the challenge of uh, covid right uh, it's it's pretty much paralyzed life for the last uh, two months or thereabouts uh, so how are you seeing you know what are you hearing from the ground on the challenges uh, which uh, these msmes are having with covid and uh, also if you could outline some of the initiatives uh, your government has undertaken to help them with uh, you know relief and recovery during this uh, period uh, in terms of challenges our msmes uh, on the service sector side we, who were mostly uh, in the hotel and uh, uh, restaurant business and and services linked to uh, tourism are badly hit because uh, tourism uh, is is absent and uh, now just that the yatra season um, uh, have would have started otherwise this is re- the next four months are really the peak time when our uh, uh, in the tourism sector make all the money uh, but because the yatra is not there uh, it will have a spiral effect in terms of everybody connected with the uh, tourism business so they are of course uh, uh, very very badly hit and we don't see tourism picking up this year uh, but i'll talk about what the government has been uh, planning for the sector so uh, this is on the service sector side so when uh, tourism is it so is transport uh, because a lot of taxis uh, the local youth were engaged in uh, providing taxis and and organizing of tours so the service sector is very very badly hit on the manufacturing side uh, while some of our uh, food msmes and uh, and of course pharma msmes for, fortunately because they've been open throughout and uh uh they they've been uh, also supplying to government of india so they have uh, survived through this but uh, uh our other msmes who were either working as vendors in the auto sector they are hit and uh, in terms of challenges it is the entire disruption in the market i mean uh, not just on their um, uh, raw material side uh, uh, but but also the supply the demand disruption which is there because uh the entire chain is uh, still not functional uh, till the time the markets are functional and uh, people start buying um, uh, there's no they say that there is no demand so as of now after the 20th of april although we we've, we've gone out to give permissions uh, and passes for labors have been issued but but uh, 
the units are still deliberating um, and they will take some time to even start work because they want to assess what is the demand in the market. Uh, some, uh, some of them are out of stocking space. They, they already have manufactured goods with them, which are, which are you know, not being demanded by their, uh, by their retailers. And so they don't want to overproduce. So of course, so disruption in the market is, is there. Secondly, of course, working capital crunch is there because, uh, because of the responsibility of uh, uh, paying salaries for March and now uh, April paid in May is again due. So there is an obvious working capital crunch, which, are, which we are all uh, aware of and uh, which has to be uh, looked into and uh, addressed. Uh, and then, of course, there is the labor issue as well, because uh, uh, while the permanent labor and the labor belonging from within the state is, of course, here, or they've gone to the neighboring district and will now come back because inter-district movement is uh, now allowed. But the labor which is from the other states has, has gone uh, back home, and also because this is the cropping season and they, uh, you know, this is the time that they usually go home uh, 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 to harvest their crops. So there is, there is a labor crunch and a general sense that uh, labor would now be expensive. So it, it again affects their cost of production. And then of course, uh, many MSMEs would probably now need to rejig their businesses, reassess if their services or products are going to have a demand or not. And then, you know, they can just get back to a pre-COVID situation like this, there has to be a total uh, assessment of the current market and then only they can come back to business. Uh, you talked about tourism, ma'am, in the beginning, uh, yeah. about uh, the fact that you know uh, tourism is a very significant uh, revenue earner for the state as well as uh, generate significant employment. Yeah. Uh, so have you, you know, have you been working with the industry there and any, you know, any suggestions uh, you know, which you've been working on with them to see how they can you know, tide over this uh, very yeah. difficult situation. Yeah, so in terms of the immediate relief, uh, so, so let me just flag our state government has actually constituted two uh, committees. One is a subcommittee of the cabinet uh, at the level of the Honorable Agriculture Minister uh, to give to assess the whole situation and give recommendations to the uh, government. And there's another committee which is under our re retired uh, Chief Secretary, Mr. Indu Kumar Pandey, who is a 75 uh, batch IS officer, uh, which is actually getting into the details of how the economy is hit. So this, and I'm a part of this task force uh, under, under the retired chief secretary. So what we have done is we have uh, interacted with various stakeholders. So people from the hospitality sector, manufacturing, transport, we've taken the inputs, uh, they've, give, they've given detailed uh, representations. Uh, of course, a lot of them are seeking a lot of incentives, but but we've also opened a dialogue with them to impress upon them the limitation of resources which is there with the state government level also. But having said that, uh, we are looking at the demand. So, for example, specifically on the tourism side, uh, their major demand is in terms of um, fixed charges for the electricity. Uh, uh, I mean, for this period particularly, they want it to be uh, you know either reduced or waived off. So. Uh, government is, uh, you know, considering that. Although uh, government has, on its own, already uh, given a time extension for uh, uh, for payment of bills on electricity and water, but that hasn't been done. But on a more medium term uh, thing, we are actually talking to the hotel uh, association and the uh, and the uh, transport associations uh, to see. You know, eventually when this opens up, at least because our hill districts are in the green category. We have just one red category district out of the 13 in our state. So eventually when the interstate movement also starts and some tourists start uh, pouring in, you know, by whatever mode of transport is available. So a, a safe Uttarakhand kind of campaign, uh, you know, because the majority of our districts uh, did not have cases. So, and we are also looking at building capacities of our people who are in the tourism business. So building their capacity of, you know, small hotels, lodges, um, homestays. So training them, uh, you know, to be uh, COVID safe. And, and uh, so whoever comes to them also should feel safe that these people are trained. And, and uh, so, so, so generally putting in place the, these safety systems 
and uh, providing government support um, for this message that uh, Uttarakhand uh, is uh, aware of responsibilities in the post-COVID scenario and our people are also trained to give uh, the services accordingly. So that is being done without it, but I think hospitality will still take a long time to return to normal. Okay. Even with all these uh, initiatives. You also talked about repurposing of uh, you know certain businesses and you know how they'll have to adapt uh, to the you know uh, to the post-COVID era. Uh, you know, could you share some thoughts around that? Yeah, so we are uh, at the uh, industries department level. We are uh, already exploring uh, the new sectors of uh, significance which would come up. Uh, so. So now we do know that, uh, uh, at least on the services sector side, uh, IT-based uh, uh, you know, enterprises we, we would probably have more clientele. So, so we have uh, an IT park where there are various companies. So we're talking uh, to them uh, and, and trying to, so of course, as of now, uh, uh, they were shut, but uh, starting tomorrow, uh, the IT park uh, would be open and uh, uh, starting Monday, sorry, they would be open. And so so on the IT sector side, I, I see um, some opportunities for, for uh, doing more. Uh, on the manufacturing side, I think this will take some uh, deeper um, uh, exploration. I mean, people are still exploring that maybe food is a sector uh, which will, you know, uh, which, which has a potential for uh, uh, taking in more business enterprises and that's where probably the investment can be directed. But I think to figure it out will, will take some time. And then uh, on the rural enterprises side, um, uh, you know, uh, just to share with you, we've already got some interest of people who want to now get into growing of vegetables. Because uh, when when this uh, shutdown happened, there was this huge demand for uh, uh, vegetables in the hill districts because there was very little supply from the plains. And so a lot of, uh, of our women SSGs, incidentally, who would qualify only as micro enterprises, uh, now want to get into um, uh, vegetables and, and uh, you know, uh, so that because they see a uh, market potential right at the district level uh, for these things. And, and also so, so therefore for dairy and maybe for local bakery. Uh, so so at, at the micro level, they can already sense these new opportunities, but at the small and medium level, I think it will take some time to figure out. The other question was uh, more in terms of, you know, uh, are, you, uh, are you seeing active collaboration between uh, civic society, the government, uh, you know, uh, and the private sector, et cetera? on trying to, you know, how are you seeing efforts on the ground in trying to overcome these challenges in your statement? So, so this, uh, I mean, we, all, we always worked uh, with industries association, with, uh, with NGOs, with, uh, with the administration. But uh, this is actually, you know, because in such a situation, there is no alternative but to work together. And uh, so throughout the shutdown, the industries association of uh, MSMEs has been working I mean, they, there are various associations. There is the Industrial Association of Uttarakhand, the, the CII, there is PhD chambers. So they're all working uh, very closely with us. So initially when the various approvals for the pharma and essential uh, category um, industries were to be given, they worked closely with us uh, because there are logistic issues and then, uh, you know, you have to actually facilitate the reopening of factories and other things, but our uh, district administration has also worked very, very closely with them to uh, facilitate that. And uh, now uh, when the task force is getting into the issues of uh, how the economy is at and what needs to be done. So see, there are a lot of issues which would need to be referred to the central government for their consideration. There are issues which relate to uh, uh, central acts. So these are all being formulated in, uh, the, uh, in consultation with these associations to be sent to the concern forum. And then, um, yeah, so I also forgot to mention, we held a special state level bankers committee meeting also, uh, in which RBI, NABAD and various banks were involved along with the industries association. Uh, uh, 
because uh, you are aware that uh, the reserve bank of india has come up with a lot of uh, initiatives to facilitate uh, uh, money in the market okay. but uh, making an assessment at the state level uh, we do realize that i mean the uptake of working capital is still not there because uh, you know the, the normalcy will only return with time and in a different form so the banks have the money but uh, they're willing unwilling to lend at this point yeah, yeah. so people are not really willing to uh, borrow you know um, liberally as of now so we are working closely with our industries association at this point of time and and this will continue to be so so uh, thank you ma'am i think uh, thank you it's been a very uh, you know, concise but very interesting discussion and uh, i hope uh, your state recovers quickly i'm happy to hear that we just have one red district Yeah. and uh, hopefully that will turn green too soon yeah and uh, look forward to uttarakhand uh, you know the people of uttarakhand uh, getting back on their feet as uh, quickly as possible thank All you right. thank, thank you so much mr thank you as you talking